Greetings, Bob Lee here with Relic Rescue USA. I hope you all are doing great. Chris and I are excited. We are back at the uh, backyard uh, bottle dump, 1900s era home site. If you saw my last video, you know that we dug some nice bottles here. We finished that hole. Now we got us a second hole. As always, it's a treasure hunt. These are some of the items we brought out. We've got uh, one uh, bottle that's broken. It looks, It's a graduated bottle. You can see right there. Um, a large one, actually. This is the other part of it. Um, the base shows that's uh, Illinois glass, 1915, 1929. But the seam stops here, so it looks like the lip is hand applied. I'm a little confused about that. And we got this here. It looks like a creamer. And uh, I don't know. We might find the other part of it. it says looks like it's made in San Francisco. Um, can't tell much more than that. And we also have square nails. And as always, that's very encouraging because that puts us into the 1900 or earlier time frame. So maybe I'm down where my foot is two feet into the hole. We've got, oh, I thought this was broken. I just thought it was a shard. Nice. Nothing on it, but look at the sides, the Art Deco. Yeah, yeah. It is a screw top. It's nice, though. We, yeah. haven't, we haven't found one like that. Yeah. Very cool. All right, so let's check the bottle out. It's got an H on the bottom. The Heinz looks like a Heinz mark. Okay. So this might be a condiment, mustard, or something. Yeah, yeah. Nice. It's a slick. So what do we got, Chris? It's a let's lid tool. Lid to a mason jar. And it's got the glass. Yeah, the milk glass. Inside of it. Yeah. And it's got writing on it, but it's I'll got, have to clean it up. All right, it's got the glass lid. So, may, yeah. so maybe we'll come up with the rest of, of that mason jar. Genuine porcelain lined cap. Well, that's neat. Yeah. Boyd's. B-O-Y-D apostrophe S. Mm-hmm. All right, let's see if we can come up with the bottle. Got something else out. And... Oh, it is complete. Another melt glass. Nothing on the bottom again. It looks like it did have a label. Would have had a label there, so yeah. it's some sort of a hand creamer. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, label's gone. Uh, when is cosmetic type of bottle? Mm hmm. There are a lot of bottles in this hole. Here's one. It looks like it's amber. <laughs> okay. Is a screw top. Yep. Is that a Lysol? It's got a. D in a triangle or in a there's no embossing at all on that one. None whatsoever. Hmm. Yeah. I mm. think this easily is 1915, 1920s, but it's crude. Got some bubbles in it and everything. Yeah. Well, all right. We're gonna continue on. Now I got what looks to be like a really big med. Mm -hmm. Nice. And it's clear. And it's got writing on it. Finally, I was beginning. I was beginning to wonder, Chris. Yeah, Dr. Thatcher's liver and blood syrup. That's the keeper. Chattanooga, Tennessee. Very cool. And that is a crude bottle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a keeper. There you go. I think you can see it. That's a good bottle. And I bet you he wasn't a real doctor. <laughs> I, I second that. And it looks like the lip was hand applied you can see the seam stops here i believe this is a blown bottle and it's really hard to see but there is a very slight tint of green or uh, aqua to it maybe so mm -hmm. i think we got our first real keeper yep next bottle is right here looks like it may have a lid on it hmm. is that another melted melt ball you got it You're kidding me no same thing you know what they like their malt, malted milk balls yeah i like it though i mean yeah that's a nice bottle nice embossing mm -hmm. something different just tumbled out right here oh wow oh neat yeah i kind of that's kind of cool yeah that's one of your little med vials yeah i like that Nothing on it, but mm. I bet somebody got a high off of that, though. Mm-hmm. No telling. Cocaine, heroin, morphine. Yep. 
One now, of those feel good. Does the seam go all the way up and over the top? I'm trying to figure that out. Let me take it in there. Yeah, so this is a blown bottle. Seam stops right there. Um, got a little bit of an aqua tint to it. Kind of like that. All right, we just got so many bottles in here. Yeah, let's see. Oh, Ooh. it's a, oh. a straight side. Now we're talking. And it's from Palaka, Palaka Florida. Palaka, Florida, baby. That's straight it. Straight side Coke. Oh, it's got a little chip in the top. Oh, but no. Still, no. Soda water. Oh, oh, man. Still, though, if you displayed it from this side. Yep. Property of Coca Cola Bottling Company. Oh, man. Soda water. Just to give you a better look at it, it says soda water property of Coca Cola Bottling Company. Minimum content six fluid ounces. And on the bottom is our hometown, Palaka, Florida. Oh, that's a crier, but hey, it's close. I think Chris is going to keep this and he'll, he'll be displaying it. Because if you set it up just like that, it looks really good. And it is a blown bottle. We are where we need to be. All right, Chris, it looks like I got another Coke down here. Oh, boy. <laughs> what did you say? They came in six packs? Yeah, they we, came in a six right. pack. We can only hope. Here we go. Looks like, or is it? Uh, no. It's, oh. it's, well, I don't know what that is. It's not a Coke. That's a condiment, I think. Hmm. Check it out. It's a Coke. It says Palatka, Florida. Oh, really? We found, yeah. I, I, it's, oh, wait a second. Soda water. Yep. That's an odd shape. I, um, I'm not seeing Coca-Cola. I'm just seeing soda water. Property of Coca-Cola. Outstanding. And Look at I, that. Look I've, at I've not sides. ever seen a, a Coke with these panels in it. Yeah. I had to get out of the sun so y'all could hopefully see it. Soda water property of coca-cola Palaka, florida folks this is very collectible and finally we have one without a chip in it so chris and i think we're in the groove now um we found those two cokes one of them had a little nick on the lip and the other one was complete and i'm still in the same pocket look what i got now right here and look i can i can run my knife and I can feel the embossing. I think it's a coat. And I hope it's intact. Oh. It is. It is. It's an old hobble skirt. Let's see. It's got a crack. It's got a crack. Oh, man. Oh. Oh. Darn. Ah. Coca-Cola. But that's three in one pocket. Lack of Florida. This one's cracked, though. There's three, but all three are different. Yeah, that makes it really interesting and kind of intriguing, really, when you have three different Cokes. So now I'm going to check to see if I can, uh, can find the date on the one I just pulled out. So this one, you can see it is November 16th. It's a 1915. Uh, but still for Chris and me, hey, any Coke is a good Coke. I've had a lot of experience with uh, French's mustard. I could be wrong, but that's what this one looks like. Let's have a look. It is, I can tell you right now, it's a French's mustard. Yep. Patent date will be 1915. Uh, they are very difficult to get out in one piece. You rarely find them without a fracture. February 23rd, 15. Yeah, February 23rd, yeah, 15. Yeah, and on the shoulder, it should say French's. It's French's. Yeah, that's a nice bottle. Any cracks on it? No, not that I can say. Yeah, of course, personally, I've always been a condiment guy myself, particularly on the ketchups. Um, what I haven't seen come out of here is a blue label ketchup, and uh, they're kind of nice and collectible if you, can, if you can come up with them. I wanted to share with you the reason why you always see me in the hole, and you might see Chris standing up shoveling, is that Chris has had four knee surgeries. He literally cannot bend his knees and so it's better for him to stay kind of in an upright position and uh, me to crawl down in the hole. And so where we're going, where those cokes were, 
is kind of heading this way. We don't have a lot of real estate that we can go because we're gonna run into this clump of trees. And undoubtedly, uh, these trees favored this trash dump because of the nutrients in it. That's why all the roots are going into it. So I've been working on something that's really odd in the hole. It's got a lot of design features on it. I don't know if it's a chalice-like cup or if it's just a bottle with a, um, just some really odd shapes to it, but we're fixing to find out. Well, maybe I got two things. Okay, well, that's just a common slick jar. I'm not going to worry about that. It's the next one to come out. This is the one right here. I don't know if you can see it. There we go. This is the one. There's some roots here, so it's hard to get out. And this is... Wow. Can you find? Yeah, we're doing good. Baba O Link bottle. That's what it says. Never heard of that. No. Nope. Wow, that's a lot of good bottles. Yeah, I think... Uh, that's a... So I've been doing a little research on this uh, kind of funky looking bottle. Uh, the most recent one we pulled out, Chris thought it was a Coke. I thought it might be a knee high. And so we looked up uh, the only embossing on it, which is on the base and it said Bobble Link. And so it turns out this is a 1924 knee high orange crush. Hmm. Very cool, yep. excellent condition. Yeah, I just pulled out a piece of glass I thought was broken and uh, Chris it's a lid for a mason jar. Okay. We just found the broken pieces to a mason jar. No writing on it. Yeah. I've never found an intact mason jar. I guess they're just too fragile, but mm. I know folks up north who dig bottles find them by the dozens sometimes, yeah. but down here in Florida, it doesn't seem to work out that way. Okay, this one just fell out. It kind of looks like a Coke, but I don't know. Huh. I don't know if it is or not. It is not. No? Nope. Um, wait a second. Property of Palatka yep. Coca-Cola Company. Yes, sir. Yep, it, is, it, it is. is. It's got a huge crack in it. Seven fluid ounces. Unfortunately, it's got the big crack in it. Got a big flash crack in it. It wasn't written on the bottom this time. No, that would have been on a label. When you pull these out and you feel like they're extra heavy, you can pretty well assume it's uh, had a carbonated beverage in them. Mm. Crown top. Yep. Uh, too bad so sad that's our fourth see now that's our fourth different coke not yeah, counting the knee high right that's cool four different bottles chris and i've spent about the last hour we've been chopping roots and trying to open the hole up even more um looks like there's a pretty good area or a pretty good size to this hole now i got a bottle up in one corner don't know if it's a coke or not we're fixing to find out here we go you can see it Right there, it's only about 15, 16 inches down. And it is not, it's a condiment, mm. but it has embossing. So it says uh, Premier on it. I am pretty sure that this is a milk box stove, 1915, 1929. We are gonna continue on. I'm sitting here debating whether I should turn the camera on for this particular bottle or not, but I can feel I feel some embossing on this side, so I take it on. Oh my, that is, uh, well, I'm gonna let Chris check this out. That is nice. Number five, ball. Oh, it is, a, it, it's a ball. It's a mason. Yeah. Wow, very cool. Yeah. So uh, we took out the lid no, that was for a Boyd's though, wasn't it? It wasn't a ball, so I don't know. Maybe the lid we took out earlier won't fit that one. Hmm. That's kind of a small... July 1908. Patent date. July, yeah, patent date, July 14th, 1908. Very cool. Nice color. Ball, ideal. And like Chris said, a patent date, uh, July 14th, 1908. There are no cracks. That's the keeper. So I've got one now up underneath the overhang. Looks like it's got some design on it. I think it's some embossing. Here's the bottom. Here it is. Let's see. Oh no, it isn't. It's another. It's another Coke. It's another Coke. Yikes. Oh, I thought it was something else. 
That it is. No cracks, right? This one's perfect. Palatka, Florida. The glass is super, super thick. I have to tell you that Chris and I are really excited. Uh, all these different kinds of Cokes we've been pulling out, um, it, it's, it's just a huge tease. And the question is always looming, can we get more and will they be whole? We've got the one knee high, we've got the two intact Cokes with kind of the flat panel on them. And then we've got the three other Cokes that, you know, they got issues. So we're, you know, the temperature's nice out here. It's about 72 degrees uh, on a December afternoon. We're going back in that hole. Well, I was talking about Cokes earlier. I think I got one. And here it is. Right there. We'll see. Well, it's really... <laughs> I think a root might have drawn in there. I'm going to have to come back. So just got one out. I thought it was slick, but it's got all sorts of embossing. Gonna turn it over to Chris. Atlas Strong Shoulder Mason. That's nice. Yeah, I mean, it's a clear, but hey, it's a Mason. Mm. Very cool. Now Chris has discovered that lid we found with the kind of the porcelain uh, interior with the brass cap fits it. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. Neat. I think I got a Coke loosened up. We're fixing to have a look. You can just see the base right there. Let's have a gander. And we got a hobble skirt. Another one. And I can tell you it's a plaque of Florida. That's always a good one. Coca-Cola trademark of a baba. Patent November 16th, 1915. Okay. It looks good to me. Nice. All right. Okay, guys, I'm getting low on uh, juice from my phone, so I'm going to have to cut a lot of things short. Just pulled out another bottle. Tell us, Chris. This is a monster malted milk a ball. A monster bottle. melted milk ball. That's the biggest one we've gotten so far. Mm. Beautiful embossing. All right. Like I said, just pull this out of the hole. Everybody can see what that is. Okay, Chris just looked at the patent date on the bottom. It's something like 1913 to 1914. It looks like a plain syrup. Nice. We continue on. Yeah, look at what I got. It just kind of fell out from underneath the overhang. I'm showing this to you real quick. It's another one of those, I, I don't know the proper term, a flat panel Coke, but what's special about this, Chris? St. Augustine. Exactly. Oh, nice. Okay, guys, I'm sorry I'm moving fast. I'm almost out. What say you, Chris? Nice. That's an orange crush. Okay, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a keeper. Gorgeous. I've got one in the hole that looks very promising. Right here. And I don't know what it is. We're fixing the... Ooh. It looks nice. It has embossing. I don't know what it is. That's a pretty one, Chris. Canada Harry, New York. That's all. It, it's, that's what it says. Oh. Canada Harry, New York. Oh wait a second. I'm sorry. Beach nut. Huh. That's where baby food's made in Canada Harry, New York. Oh yeah, the beach nut cereal with mm -hmm. the. My wife and I used to go out on rides. We lived in Cooperstown. On your motorcycle? On the motorcycle. We'd just go and just go. And we always seemed to end up in Canada Harry somehow. Really? I and it's up near Cooperstown. This is upstate New York. Yes, it's upstate New York. It's right on the Erie Canal. And what is it known for? Baby food. Beach nut.